Welcome back, people. Don't forget to check that backpack before you go through here. Um, I've had some debate with some people on how much of Tomb Raider to show. Uh, some people truly do enjoy spoilers. Um, I I do to an extent. Um, it doesn't. Sometimes I like to know where every single thing is, like this little coin stash here. So I'm a little confused when I do a Tomb Raider, or well, not confused, but. I'm debating when I show a Tomb Raider, how much of these tombs should I show? So what I am doing is not showing how to get to these tombs. Um, so the location, you won't know the location. And I'm not showing like what was in the backpack. I'm not going to show what you find at the end of the tomb. So at least there's still some surprises. So my question is, what do you guys think of that? Do you want to see the whole thing? Do you want me to leave some of it a mystery? I know some of you that don't play Tomb Raider don't care one way or the other. Um, but those of you that do play Tomb Raider, you know, what? how much of it do you want to see? Because I, I may post a tomb that you haven't been to yet. And, you know, anyway. So, that last scene with me um, shooting an arrow at that um, device there, that is me just experimenting to see what moves, what doesn't move. Same with this. You know, I'm, I'm seeing what doors go up, what doors don't go up, and you can see that one is stuck there in the ice, so now I know that you need to chip that away somehow. And again, this is just me trial and error, just basically just goofing around. I, I practice some things when I'm in a dungeon, I experiment like that, or I just goof around just to see what it does. Now, something I am guilty of in Tomb Raider is not paying attention to the clues the game gives you. Um, you're familiar with the, the white like you saw on the door. Okay, that gives you an idea of the direction. The rope wrapped around this, that, or the other thing. That gives you clues. Those things I pay attention to. But I'll show you in a later video, there's things like... I'm crossing a river, and there's an island in the middle of the river. Didn't really consider, or, yeah, it really didn't consider the island, but it's there for a reason. And so that's my, my next point, is this game puts things in there for a reason, whether that reason is a view, whether that reason is um, a cache is hidden there, or, you know, something. Something, it, there's some sort of reason there. And I am very guilty of not paying attention to the clues that are in the game. This particular dungeon, I cut some of the experiment out. I, th I think I cut some of this out. Let's, we'll have to take a look. But see, like, I shoot the arrow, click it on here. That's an obvious one. Um, but I don't get it cranked up in time before the wind comes through. See the little indication there? You know, see, I cut it too late. I cut it too late. So I have to start over. And I think I do this about three times, four times before I get the timing right. And because I don't pay attention to one of the clues. For example, watch when, see, as soon as you first see, this is at twice the speed. But as soon as that first bit of snow comes blowing through, that's when I need to cut it. And I didn't, it took me several tries before, uh, you know, that, registered in my brain. I don't know why. I mean, it's right there in front of my face. And to repeat myself, um, yeah, I, I just don't pay attention to the clues. So let me give you some updates on some other games I'm playing. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, I finally reached level 40, and now I'm trying to save up 17,000 credits to get the scout armor for my Stormtrooper. I don't know what I can buy on the Rebel side yet. I haven't really looked at that. Um, but I'm going to repeat myself as far as uh, Star Wars goes. And that's the Stormtroopers should always be wearing helmets. That helmetless stuff, absolutely ridiculous. The other gaming news is on Battlefield 4, I finally re got or earned Recon Expert, which means now I can go after Ultimate Recon. So I need to finish Ultimate Recon and Ultimate Assault to finish those assignments on Battlefield. Now, back to Tomb Raider. I have one tomb, challenge tomb, that I am having difficulty 
in finding, and I'll bring that footage to you so hopefully someone can help me out. And the bears, I'm not having too much trouble killing bears nowadays, but I do have one leopard in the valley, and I haven't shown you footage of the valley yet, I know, but I do have one leopard that is just kicking my butt. I have yet to take this leopard out. And the final difficulty I'm having with Tomb Raider is diving. I have, I've read the instructions a couple times, and I can't really figure out how to dive, but I'll bring you footage of my failures there. Alrighty, people, Laura's exiting this tomb, so we're out of here. The voice of God is completed, so thank you very much for listening, folks, and remember, play hard. You have probably earned it. You all take care, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.